There is so much more to this reality than you can possibly realize. I'm going to share with you an experience that I had just the other day where an aspect of this new earth, this new reality came forward to me and it wasn't in meditation. It wasn't while I was out practicing grounding or practicing breath work. This new experience happened while I was riding a horse. So over the weekend, my wife and I were away to a town a couple hours away from our, my house and um, we decided to take a trail ride and we went to a stable and we've been there before. Um, I am not an experienced horse rider. I have gone riding maybe four, maybe five times throughout my life. Last time was about a year and a half ago. So we get to the stable and they're lining us up and I get on my horse, beautiful horse named Ella. And I remember, you know, they're, they're instructing me on how to control the horse and how to hold the rein and how to steer, you know, move him to the left, move, move her to the right, get her going and slow her down, those types of things. So I'm listening and I'm in pretty much 3D mode. And I remember a year and a half ago how grounding it was when I was on the horse, a different horse at the same stable a year and a half ago, I just felt connected, felt really, really grounded, breath slowed down, just amazing space to be in. So I was curious to see now a year and a half later what the experience was gonna look like for me at this point in time. So I get on the horse and we start, it's about a 45 minute to an hour trail ride, absolutely gorgeous day, beautiful day. We're all lined up single file, there were seven of us and a couple of guides. So I'm working with the horse and I'm, I'm feeling the horse, you know, and I'm getting back into sync and remembering how to control. But I didn't feel like I was controlling her properly. The energy felt a little bit, a little bit off and I felt like she was getting a little upset with me. And some, a couple times she let me know that, kind of like, what are you doing, you know? So I wasn't moving the reins quite effectively at the beginning. But about halfway through the trail ride, all of a sudden, I know I was you know, just stroking her neck and feeling her and connecting with her and, and realizing, again, remembering that this is an extension of me. She's an extension of me and she's anchoring me to the planet. So I felt really, really anchored and grounded. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I start getting um, telepathic messages. I start to hear this voice. And those of you who have watched my videos know that I have a very telepathic connection with my guides. This was not my guide. This was Ella. She started coming through to me. And I realized at that moment that I could communicate with her telepathically. And I remember saying to her, can I guide you or ask you to, to navigate left, right, slow down, whatever, telepathically? And she says to me, she goes, duh. And I was like, what? She says, yes. We are connected telepathically. She said, this is how we are intended to communicate. She says, but humans have forgotten that. So I was at the first half of this ride focused on the reins and doing what I was supposed to do from the separate perspective of being a physical human on a horse, even though I was feeling her energy and I was feeling connected to her. I didn't even think or was aware to try to connect telepathically with her. But she took that initiative because as we were going along on the trail ride, I got more centered. I got more peaceful. My breath slowed down. And I remember sinking my breath with my heart and getting into a very comfortable, relaxed state as this, this trail ride was going along. And all of a sudden, she comes through. She starts speaking to me. And the amazing thing was, I said, okay, well, we're going to try this. Uh, so I, she started, she was off going to the right a little bit. I said, can you move to the left? And this is telepathically. And sure enough, she veers over to the left. Now, before this connection opened up, before I became aware of this connection, I was navigating her with the reins. She didn't seem too happy with the way I was utilizing that, right? So she was sensing something within me, kind of like, come on, man, let's do this the way that, that the universe has intended it. And finally, she got through to me. She reached out to me and got through to me. I was centered enough to be able to perceive her thoughts and her energy. And, and now I'm sitting there and we're going along. The first half of the ride, she was right up on the horse in front of her. I could not get her to back off a few feet. She just wouldn't back off. 
Now I'm communicating with her. I said, Ella, please back off just a few feet. And she slowed down. This is all happening telepathically. I'd say, can you veer to the right? She'd veer to the right. Can you veer to the left? She'd veer to the left. Slow down, speed up. She was doing exactly what I was requesting in the moment in real time. And she was responding to me. Okay, so her energy shifted as well. And she became so much more relaxed, so much more calm. But then she explained to me that this is how we are supposed to integrate and communicate with nature. We are part of nature. You are part of Gaia. Okay, all of these beautiful, amazing beings are here as well to share this experience with us. But I can assure you, as she has indicated, that nature is very frustrated with humanity. Okay, I know they don't necessarily experience the lower vibrations, but they are waiting for us to open up. They don't experience that like we do, but they're waiting for us to open up to be able to rise up into these frequencies where we used to be, where we had a direct telepathic connection with nature, be it trees, be it flowers, grasses, insects, bees, animals. That connection is there and it is telepathic. These animals, they, they read our energy. They can feel our energy and they will respond to your energy, whether it's fight or flight or fear, anxiety or stress or whether it's peace, joy, love, compassion, they will respond to that. And if you can get centered enough, and this is something I talk to um, the people in my A New You program about who are really interested in connecting with animals, and they are now starting to connect with animals, right? If you can get centered and present enough, that channel will open up for you to be able to start to communicate from a perspective of awareness and directly with nature and with animals around you. I was blown away by this experience and I'm so grateful for Ella for leading me into this because I was not actively thinking communicate telepathically like I do with my guides because I was focused on the human aspect of okay this is my fourth time say on a horse I needed to be focused on the reins and controlling her and making sure she's where she needs to be and not too close, not too far, and those types of things. But as the as this trail ride went on, I got more relaxed. I got more centered. I focused on my breath. I slowed my heart rate down. I felt really in sync with her energy, and that allowed her to come forward. And I already have that ability to perceive thoughts, okay, to communicate telepathically. It's, and... She stepped right into that opening and communicated with me and had quite a sense of humor. But it, the connection was absolutely incredible. It was almost like there was a direct neural link with her, whereas I would have a thought to please move to the left and instantly she would move, okay, and to the right. So um, absolutely incredible experience. I want you guys to remember that you have this ability as well. It's all about... Getting out of the humanity, the human version of you, detaching from the avatar and reconnecting with what's inside. When you could reconnect with what's inside, you start to open up possibilities that were always there. You just weren't aware of them because you were focused into a lower frequency bandwidth or lower frequency timeline as the human. So you need to detach somewhat from the human, get in tune with your higher self, Get in tune with nature. Get in tune with these elevated frequencies that will allow you to start to perceive what is happening around you that was previously unseen. And again, she explained to me that you all have the ability to do this. It's just about focusing more inward and less outward into the 3D experience. It's just It was just one of those experiences for me that it's like, wow, like all that shadow work, all of the dark nights, all of the healing and the clearing work that I've done just enhances the experience here. It's all there. We're building this high frequency circuitry, this experience within our body so that we can hold more of our light. And nature 
will respond in kind. We just have to learn how to get out of our own way, and I can help you to do that. If this video resonated with you, watch this one next. Thank you so much.